All right, thank you, Ian. Right now, a possible sinkhole in Palm Harbor. Firefighters have been on scene all morning at a home there on East Dorchester Drive in the Highland Estates neighborhood. And that's where we find News Channel 8's Avery Cotton. She's got the latest. been covering this story all morning. Good morning, Avery. Good morning, Marco. Well, I can tell you that now building inspectors and public works employees are on scene right now trying to determine what's causing this house to sink. What I can tell you is that each and every hour we are seeing more and more cracks appear on the outside of this house. Certainly not something anyone wants to hear. I heard a lot of a big thud. Joyce Jordan lives next door to the house evacuated for a possible sinkhole. The woman who lives there also reported hearing loud cracking noises just before noticing crevices all over her home. Fire rescue crews decided she needed to leave for safety with the thought they could have a possible sinkhole on their hands. This one hasn't really got too much wider. As they kept watch overnight, conducting walkthroughs every half hour, the house sunk inch by inch. Or how does that make you feel living right next door? Terrible, terrible uh, for her and uh, for us. Uh, it's pretty scary. Joyce also noticed cracks in her home after that loud boom. Fire rescue crews walked through and deemed it safe for now. Neighbors on the other side of the house slept right through everything. When I told you that there's a possible sinkhole right next door to you, what went through your mind? Uh, I wondered uh, if it was uh, not only next door, but uh, affecting my house. He's noticed areas of concern in the yard between the two homes and is now even more worried. When I mow my lawn, sometimes on this side, I feel sponginess or something. It feels funny. Now it's a waiting game as officials work to determine if the sinking sensation is in fact a sinkhole or something else. And back out here live, we are told that the woman who lives here is safe this morning, staying with a family, friend, or a relatives. All of the neighbors who live here and just people who live nearby tell us what makes this even more heartbreaking is the woman who lives here just lost her husband a couple of weeks ago, and now she's having to deal with this. Marco. Yeah, absolutely heartbreaking, Avery. All right, thank you.